morning everyone. We're all at Live Conference in Riyadh. My name is Nimad Abdurrahim from Royal Cyber. I have with me Prajis and he's the practice head for ServiceNow at Royal Cyber in Copenhagen. So Prajis, how is our partnership with ServiceNow enhancing our offerings to clients at the Live Conference? So our partnership with ServiceNow started with the US and we've expanded to multiple regions in the world and uh, Middle East is the most recent one. And we work very closely with account execs from ServiceNow and also regional sales folks from ServiceNow and domain experts from ServiceNow. And, and we align based on the client's requirements. Uh, so I would say our partnership is working really well. Okay. And uh, we, are seeing, we are seeing a lot of alignment. We have a big presence in the Middle East, so we have a lot of clients here. So we are, we are connecting the dots and we are going to the clients together. Okay, okay, great Prajis. Can you share with us a successful, successful story from our ServiceNow practice that highlights our impact on customer success? Sure. So one client that comes to mind is a banking and financial services customer. Yes. They had uh, they had ServiceNow and they also had some legacy applications that they were using for individual business requirements and technical requirements. And their pain point was having to go to multiple systems for getting one process of workflow done. When we worked with them, we, we did our analysis and we helped them migrate a lot of that functionality into ServiceNow and also build new applications on ServiceNow which did pretty much the same thing and then and they ended up with a more cohesive platform, less technical debt and that was very helpful for them. Okay, that's great Prajit. What are the key trends in the digital transformation you see in ServiceNow addressing in the upcoming year? The two big trends that I see are AI and automation. Yes. Uh, there is a lot of interest in AI and automation and I, I believe that the, this whole year uh, and possibly next year will be all about AI and automation. Those are the two trends that are most likely, not just in Riyadh, but across the world. Uh, it's, going to be, it's going to be very uh, very popular and a lot of customers are, are, are going to use it. And we are going to help them. We are already working with customers to help uh, implement AI in their, uh, in their workflows. Okay, that's great. So, how is our team leveraging ServiceNow related features to drive innovation within our projects? Sure. So what we are doing is we are we are uh, focusing on customer requirements to see where AI is the right fit. Uh, we are aware of the of the customers' existing pain points and we are aware of AI capabilities. So what we do at Royal Cyber is we we try to find the best fit and we try to and we do a lot of POCs as well to see if it works and then um, you know we we then take it forward and do a full blown project. Uh, so we go step by step and we, we do a very focused approach where, where we need AI, we use AI, that's what we are okay. doing. Okay, that's great. Okay, Prajis. So what are the strategies that we are implementing to expand our serverless capabilities and market presence in the response of our client needs? We are building solutions. We are building a lot of solutions which are uh, industry specific and also have AI built in. So we don't want customers uh, to wait to start from scratch and build something. We are going to offer them uh, applications which are pre-built, which already have AI and which are aligned with their specific requirements. For example, government organizations or healthcare or finance, we are working on building solutions which, which they can use in their specific industries. Uh, and uh, that will save them a lot of time and effort in getting, getting their workflows implemented. Thank you, Prajis, for this impactful and uh, highlighted uh, information for the Royal Services in the ServiceNow position. See you next time.